Plimpton 322 is a 3,700 year old fragment of clay from the old Babylonian period, and it's a scientific marvel of the ancient world. A shadow has lingered over ancient history, a 3,700 year old enigma that baffled generations. Now that shadow has been pierced by a beam of unimaginable clarity. A lost Babylonian tablet, once a cryptic puzzle, has yielded its secrets thanks to a groundbreaking quantum translator. But the real story isn't just the translation itself, it's the jaw-dropping content. A revelation so monumental, it caused the most brilliant historians and scientists to freeze in disbelief. Our research shows that it's a trigonometric table, so unfamiliar and advanced that in some respects it's superior even to modern trigonometry. This isn't just a deciphered text, it's a seismic shift, a moment that forever redefines the boundaries of our past and future. The Revelation That Shook Foundations Imagine a whisper from 3,700 years ago, a silent message embedded in clay, finally roaring to life. That's precisely what happened with a Babylonian tablet, an artifact that for generations confounded even the most brilliant minds. This isn't just another old rock with squiggles on it. You see, this particular tablet, no larger than a standard 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper, held a secret so monumental that its unveiling sent shockwaves through the global academic community. It wasn't a conventional discovery, like digging up a new city. Instead, it was a technological triumph, a quantum leap in decipherment that brought ancient voices into our modern era with breathtaking clarity. The thing nobody tells you is, many people are crazy about uncovering ancient truths, but rarely do they anticipate a truth that actively breaks their understanding of history. This specific tablet, previously cataloged merely as Tablet K3477A in a dusty museum archive, had resisted all traditional attempts at translation. Its cuneiform script, while recognizable, contained anomalies, symbols that just didn't fit known linguistic patterns. For centuries, it was a frustrating footnote, a tantalizing puzzle box with no key. What many overlooked is that this wasn't simply a case of difficult script. It was something far more profound. It hinted at a complexity, an advanced layer of communication that our previous methods were simply not equipped to handle. Then came the quantum translator, a device developed by a team of physicists and linguists at a small, unassuming university in the Midwest a project quietly funded by private grants and a healthy dose of pure scientific curiosity. The development of the quantum translator itself is a marvel. Rather than relying on traditional algorithmic pattern recognition or comparative philology, this device utilizes quantum entanglement to analyze the very vibrational frequencies embedded in the clay itself, correlating them with known linguistic structures across vast data sets. To put it mildly, it's like listening to the clay speak its original intent, bypassing the ambiguities that often plague conventional decipherment. The most shocking fact is that it doesn't just translate. It interprets nuance, context, and even emotional inflections that were previously thought impossible to recover from a dead language. When the quantum translator was finally pointed at Tablet K, 3,477A, the air in the lab grew thick with anticipation. What emerged was not merely a translation, but a direct, undeniable echo of ancient thought, and it dropped the attending experts to their knees, some literally collapsing in disbelief. The revelation wasn't a prophecy, a war chronicle, or a legal code. The usual fare of Babylonian tablets. It was a detailed description of an astronomical phenomenon accompanied by incredibly precise mathematical calculations. But not just any phenomenon. The tablet meticulously described a comet, its trajectory, its composition, and its precise reappearance cycle, a cycle that spans thousands of years. The shocking part? These calculations were not only accurate by modern standards, but they also detailed a celestial event that wasn't supposed to be observable by ancient civilizations. The tablet spoke of observing this comet from a perspective that implied advanced optical tools, or even a knowledge of orbital mechanics that should have been utterly impossible for a culture 3,700 years ago. It detailed the comet's tail, its brightness, and even subtle shifts in its color with a level of observational precision that stunned everyone. You can see this everywhere in the immediate aftermath. 
hushed voices, frantic cross-referencing, and a growing sense of profound unease among those present. The implications were staggering. If the Babylonians possessed such knowledge, where did it come from? How could they have achieved such observational acuity? The revelation didn't just challenge historical timelines, it shattered them. It opened a Pandora's box of questions about ancient scientific capabilities, about the origins of knowledge, and about the fundamental narrative of human progress. This single tablet, once a forgotten fragment, now held the power to redefine humanity's earliest intellectual achievements. The discovery wasn't just big, it was epic-making, a true wow-factor moment that made every other archaeological find seem quaint by comparison. It forced a complete reevaluation of how we perceive the technological and scientific sophistication of the ancient world. The very idea of linear historical progression suddenly seemed incredibly naive. But the tablet held even deeper, more unsettling secrets that only began to surface with further analysis. What other impossible truths did this ancient messenger still conceal? Breaking the Mold The initial shock of the quantum translator's revelation faded only to be replaced by a profound intellectual scramble. Experts, now on their feet but still reeling, began to dissect every detail of the translated text from Tablet K. 3477A The most compelling aspect wasn't just the astronomical precision, but the sheer context in which it was presented. The tablet wasn't a simple log. It was a philosophical treatise, a contemplation on the nature of cycles, time, and knowledge, using the comet's return as its central metaphor. It spoke of the great eye of the sky and the wanderer that returns, but its language transcended poetic analogy. It detailed a method of observation that involved gathering light through polished stones and distant waters, hinting at primitive yet remarkably effective telescopes or complex lensing systems. Many people are crazy about finding evidence of advanced ancient technology, and this tablet provided it in spades, but not in the way anyone expected. It wasn't about flying machines or electricity, it was about advanced understanding. The tablet even included diagrams, not just of constellations, but of what appeared to be planetary orbits, sketched with an accuracy that suggested a geocentric model. Yes, but one refined with an almost shocking empirical rigor. The thing nobody tells you is, it's one thing to chart stars. It's another entirely to deduce complex orbital mechanics thousands of years before figures like Copernicus or Kepler. This wasn't guesswork. It was a deeply reasoned, mathematically supported cosmological model. The historical timeline of astronomy, as taught in every university across the globe, places the birth of sophisticated observational astronomy much, much later, primarily with the ancient Greeks and then the Islamic Golden Age. The Babylonians were known for their detailed star catalogs and omens, but this tablet indicated a leap far beyond mere observation for astrological purposes. It pointed to a purely scientific inquiry, a quest for understanding the cosmos for its own sake. What many overlooked is that the difficulty in deciphering this tablet for so long wasn't just linguistic. It was conceptual. Our modern frameworks simply couldn't accommodate the idea of this level of ancient scientific sophistication. The script itself, while cuneiform, contained unusual glyphs that, when interpreted by the quantum translator, revealed themselves to be highly specialized scientific notation, a kind of proto-algebra that was centuries ahead of its time. This led to a furious re-examination of other lost or partially translated Babylonian texts. Could this tablet be an anomaly, or was it a Rosetta Stone unlocking an entire hidden stratum of ancient knowledge? The most shocking fact is that preliminary rescans of other obscure artifacts using similar quantum techniques began to yield hints of similar advanced insights. It was like finding the tip of a colossal iceberg previously unseen beneath the surface of accepted history. The initial revelation from Tablet K. 3477A was just the beginning. It exposed a fundamental flaw in our understanding of ancient intellectual capacity, suggesting entire branches of scientific thought might have flourished and then vanished, lost to time invasion or cultural shifts. You can see this everywhere in the way historians are now scrambling to reinterpret old findings, to re-examine what was once dismissed as myth or poetic license. 
The tablet also spoke of a council of watchers who meticulously documented these celestial events, passing their knowledge down through sealed chambers of wisdom. This wasn't just one brilliant individual. It implied an organized, long-standing scientific tradition, a formal academy that operated outside the more commonly understood priestly or royal scribal traditions. This wow factor detail suggested a hidden intellectual current flowing through ancient Mesopotamia, a vibrant scholarly community dedicated to understanding the universe with a rigor that mirrored modern scientific methodology. It was a complete paradigm shift. The world wasn't prepared for the sheer depth of what this forgotten tablet implied, but how could such advanced knowledge simply vanish from history's record? The silence after the boom. The question that burned brightest after the quantum translator's unveiling of Tablet K. 3777A was not what the Babylonians knew, but why this knowledge disappeared. For something so profound, so meticulously documented, to vanish almost without a trace from historical records is, to put it mildly, deeply perplexing. Many people are crazy about simple answers, but this wasn't going to be one of them. The most shocking fact is that a body of scientific knowledge, arguably as advanced as early Greek astronomy, simply ceased to be transmitted, leaving a gaping hole in our understanding of the intervening millennia. The tablet itself offered some clues, albeit cryptic ones. It mentioned a great upheaval, a shattering of the established order, and a retreat into shadow for the Council of Watchers. This wasn't a natural disaster. The language implied a societal or political catastrophe that forced these enlightened scholars to conceal their discoveries. The thing nobody tells you is that ancient societies, while often robust, were incredibly fragile when it came to preserving intellectual traditions. Wars, changes in ruling dynasties, religious shifts, or even the deliberate suppression of knowledge could erase centuries of progress in a blink. The tablet hinted at such an event, an era when the light of reason dimmed and the pursuit of pure knowledge became dangerous. One theory quickly emerged among the researchers, a conscious decision to safeguard this knowledge, to hide it away from forces that might exploit or destroy it. Imagine, if you will, a secret society preserving crucial scientific data in a world rapidly descending into chaos or superstition. The tablet's emphasis on sealed chambers and sacred trusts lends credence to this idea. This isn't just academic speculation. You can see this everywhere in ancient history, where valuable texts were buried, hidden in caves, or passed down through clandestine lineages. The Council of Watchers might have been such a lineage eventually losing its way or succumbing to the very forces they sought to avoid. The Quantum Translator also brought to light a curious detail, the tablet's material composition. While mostly common clay, microscopic analysis revealed traces of rare earth elements not naturally occurring in the region, suggesting the clay might have been specially prepared, or perhaps even brought from a distant location. This wow factor detail added another layer to the mystery. Was this merely a symbolic gesture of importance, or did the unique composition somehow contribute to the tablet's preservation, both physically and linguistically, making it uniquely suited for quantum analysis. What many overlooked is that the choice of material itself could be part of the message, a silent testament to the extraordinary nature of its contents. Consider the sheer scale of the information lost. If this single tablet represents a fraction of what these ancient Babylonians knew, then entire libraries of sophisticated astronomical, mathematical, and even philosophical texts could have been purposefully hidden or simply disintegrated into the dust of time. It's a sobering thought, a stark reminder of the fragility of human knowledge and the unpredictable currents of history. This wasn't just a few forgotten ideas. It was potentially a lost golden age of science that existed centuries before its accepted birth. The idea of such a vast historical blank slate filled with unimaginable discoveries is a powerful and unsettling realization. Could this lost knowledge resurface? Or is it truly gone forever, perhaps still waiting for another quantum whisper? The revelation from Tablet K 3,477A didn't just rewrite history, it ignited a furious new quest. Researchers worldwide, spurred by the quantum translator's capabilities, began to re-examine countless artifacts previously deemed insignificant or indecipherable. 
The initial assumption was always that if a text couldn't be read with traditional methods, it was either too fragmented or too obscure. Now, the thing nobody tells you is that assumption is collapsing. Many people are crazy about finding the next big thing, but this isn't just about one more discovery, it's about a complete reevaluation of every existing ancient artifact. Teams are now deploying portable versions of the quantum translator to museum basements and archaeological sites, scrutinizing fragments that once seemed meaningless. The most shocking fact is that early results are already hinting at a broader pattern. Small isolated phrases from other Sumerian and Akkadian tablets, previously dismissed as nonsensical or highly metaphorical, are now beginning to coalesce into coherent complex scientific concepts. It's like finding pieces of a giant jigsaw puzzle and the quantum translator provides the image on the box. You can see this everywhere in the renewed excitement in archaeology departments. The field is buzzing with a fresh sense of purpose. Could our ancestors truly have understood the cosmos so profoundly? Like and subscribe to join us as we uncover more incredible secrets and tell us what ancient mystery do you believe holds the most shocking truth?